Hey, what's up guys, Zach Nichols again. Just taking a walk, thought I'd check in, haven't checked in in a while. Uh, feeling a little down today, I don't know why. Like something's, something's not right. And uh, I think about that movie Hit and Run, where he's kind of calm his, his uh, wife down. His wife is panicking about some job interview. And he's telling her, look babe, you're not late for anything. You're not supposed to be anywhere else. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. And that's how I should, that's how I remind myself. You know, life's good, I'm here. I'm not supposed to be anywhere else in the world. I'm not late for anything, I don't have to do anything. I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And it's my mantra. And I've been, uh, you know, no shame in it. You got free health care as a soldier. Uh, I've been seeing a guy for anxiety, you know? Just talking to my life and it really, it's cool to reciprocate some energy and bounce ideas off of them. And uh, I tell them about, you know, just my thoughts day to day, ups and downs. And that's what we ended up coming to an agreement on is that life is a series of ups and downs. And with no fap and, you know, people that do drugs, there's like addicts and all these other things, people that are, look for a rush all the time. They constantly want to be on a high. They constantly want to be on that peak. But you have to come down eventually. And he was telling me that when you come down to a normal level, um, you might perceive that as coming down and feeling down. But really, you're just on the level. And that we should uh, take, take ups and downs and strides because that's life. Normal life is ups and downs. And so, he also told me another thing. I was telling him about my life plan, what I think my life plan is going to be for this next chapter, coming January, when I either move or depart the army. Uh, he's told me that whatever I decide to do, stick with that for 90 days. Maybe it's not the right idea or right direction, but whatever I come to an agreement to do, stick with that for 90 days. So... Kind of get weird out here, walking through all the people. But, uh, and that was huge for me, 90 days. We started talking about other things. And I told him, I flat out told him about NoFap. I told him about, you know, I do this thing and I believe, and it's a belief system. I believe that it works, therefore it works. Uh, and I don't want to, I didn't want that to sound like a placebo effect, but I wanted it to be like, more like the belief in, con in, in conjunction with the actual benefits. It has like a synergistic effect. Because if you're believing, you're putting energy toward it, you're committing to it, you're telling yourself this is working, and the positive self-talk is amplifying it. Um, and he said, yeah, that's good. Do that for 90 days. And then every time I told him about a thought or an idea or a new challenge, new uh, approach I would take to school. He would tell me, yeah, do that for 90 days. When you get to 90 days and that doesn't work, do something else. Do that for 90 days. And he said, if you get to 90 days and it works, or you like it, or you like the plan, do it for another 90 days. Re-up for another, another 90 days. And uh, it makes me think about all the videos, the 90 day 90 day challenge or 90 day uh, update, you know, people post and it's just like, there's no, it's no magical number, but it's a solid, it's a solid uh, rule to go by, you know, so if this is day 14, here's looking at 90 uh, and at that 90, I have no doubt that I want to re-up for another 90, so Just being, wait until I get by people. Not really the best at doing this and walking through. It's like people around. <laughs> but what I said to him was that I want my word to mean more to myself. I want to increase the value of my word. Because I would tell myself 
you know, hey, maybe it's something like this. You tell yourself, we're going to start working out and eating right. You do it for like a, a week, a month. New Year's resolution, January's strong, February fizzles out. But if your word, if you promise yourself, you made an agreement, and your word matters to yourself, then you won't break it. You won't fizzle out. You'll go strong for months. Anyways, what do you guys think about 90 days? Let me know. Let me know if it is maybe a magic number and there's something I'm missing. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. A little bit of a rant as usual, but I'm walking around in public, so hold my phone out like a weirdo. <laughs> Alright, guys. Hit me up in the comments. Look forward to another video. Peace.